girls today our subject is general knowledge and the topic of discussion is blood blood is made up of 45% cells and 55% plasma plasma contains 90% water and 10% vitamins hormones and cholesterol Crabs have blue blood because of their blood contains copper instead of iron. The red liquid that circulates in our body is called blood. Blood is a body fluid in humans and other animals that delivers necessary substances such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells and transports metabolic waste products away from those same cells in vertebrates it is composed of blood cells suspended in blood plasma the blood contains plasma and blood cells blood plasma is a yellowish liquid component of blood that holds the blood cells of whole blood in suspension it is the liquid part of the blood that carries cells and proteins throughout the body it makes up about 55% of the body's total blood volume the red blood cells white blood cells and platelets are the three types of blood cells together these three kinds of blood cells add up to a total 45% of the blood tissue by volume red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body and collect carbon dioxide through the use of hemoglobin the red color of blood is due to the hemoglobin present in the red blood cells each hemoglobin protein is made up of subunits called hemes which are what give blood its red color the hemes can bind iron molecules and these iron molecules bind oxygen the blood cells are red because of the interaction between iron and oxygen platelets help to control bleeding the normal platelet count is 150000 to 350000 per microliter of blood but since platelets are so small they make up just a tiny fraction of the blood volume the white blood cells help in fighting infections The white blood cells are an important part of the immune system. These cells help fight infections by attacking bacteria, viruses and germs that invade the body. White blood cells originate in the bone marrow but circulate throughout the blood stream. The blood cells are made in the bone marrow. Bone marrow is a spongy substance found in the center of the bones. It manufactures bone marrow stem cells and other substances which in turn produce blood cells. Each type of blood cells made by the bone marrow has an important job. Bone marrow is a soft material found in the interior of the bones. In adult humans bone marrow is primarily located in the ribs vertebrae sternum and bones of the pelvis antigens are responsible for different types of blood groups blood groups are of four types a b ab an o a blood group is a classification of blood based on the presence and absence of antibodies and inherited antigenic substances on the surface of red blood cells 
Blood makes up about 7% of one's body weight. Now girls, let us solve the exercises. Number 1. The red liquid that circulates in our body is called blood. Number 2. The blood contains plasma and blood cells. Number 3. The red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets are the three types of blood cells. Number 4. Red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. Number 5. The red color of blood is due to hemoglobin present in the red blood cells. Number 6. Platelets help to control bleeding. Number 7. The white blood cells help in fighting infections. Number 8. The blood cells are made in the bone marrow. Number 9. Bone marrow is a soft material found in the interior of the bones. Number 10. Antigens are responsible for different types of blood groups. Number 11. Blood groups are of four types. A, B, AB and O. Number 12. Blood makes up about 7% of one's body weight. Now girls, open your general knowledge book, page number 26, chapter number 23, blood. Solve the exercises on your own. Girls, we have completed the first chapter of general knowledge. Now let us browse the chapter with the help of some questions. Number 1. What does plasma contain? Number 2. Why do crabs have blue blood? Number 3. Where are the blood cells made? Number 4. What carry oxygen from lungs to the rest of the body? Number 5. How many types of blood groups are there and what are they? Number 6. What is the function of platelets? Girls, let us come to the second chapter of general knowledge. The topic is important days. Jawaharlal Nehru was called Chacha Nehru by the children. His birthday, 14th November, is celebrated as Children's Day. The second Sunday of May is celebrated as Mother's Day. Whereas, the third Sunday of June is celebrated as Father's Day. Now let us go deep into the chapter. Number 1. One laughter day takes place on the first Sunday of May of every year. The first celebration was on January 10, 1998 in Mumbai, India and was arranged by Dr. Madan Kataria, founder of the worldwide laughter yoga movement. The World Health Day is a global health awareness day celebrated every year on 7th April under the sponsorship of the World Health Organization. In 1948, the WHO held the first World Health Assembly. Earth Day is an annual event celebrated around the world on April 22nd to demonstrate support for environmental protection. First celebrated in 1970, it now includes events coordinated globally by the Earth Day Network in more than 193 countries. International Women's Day is celebrated on the 8th of March every year around the world. It is a focal point in the movement for women's rights. International Labor Day is often referred to as May Day 
in celebration of laborers and working classes that is promoted by the international labor movement and occurs every year on May Day. The United Nations General Assembly declared May 3 to be World Press Freedom Day or just World Press Day observed to raise awareness of the importance of freedom of the press. Anti-Tobacco Day is observed around the world every year on 31st May. This yearly celebration informs the public on the dangers of using tobacco. World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th June every year and is the United Nations principal vehicle for encouraging awareness and action for the protection of the environment. World Population Day is an annual event observed on July 11 every year which seeks to raise awareness of global population issues. The event was established by the Governing Council of the United Nations Development Program in 1989. 8 September was declared International Literacy Day by UNESCO on 26th October 1966 at the 14th session of UNESCO's General Conference. It was celebrated for the first time in 1967. Its aim is to highlight the importance of literacy to individuals, communities and societies. Celebrations take place in several countries. Since 1980, the United Nations World Tourism Organization has celebrated World Tourism Day as international observances on September 27th. This day was chosen as on that day in 1970, the statutes of UNWTO were adopted. The adoption of these statutes is considered a milestone in global tourism. The International Day of Nonviolence is marked on 2nd October, the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi, leader of the Indian independence movement and pioneer of the philosophy and strategy of nonviolence. Now let us do the exercises. Number one, May 2, World Laughter Day. Number two, April 7, World Health Day. Number three, April 22nd, Earth Day. Number four, March 8, International Women Day. Number five, May 1, International Labor Day. Number six, May 3, World Press Freedom Day. Number 7. May 31st, Anti Tobacco Day. Number 8. June 5, World Environment Day. Number 9. July 11, World Population Day. Number 10. September 8, International Literacy Day. Number 11. September 27th, World Tourism Day. Number 12. October 2nd. International Day of Nonviolence. Girls, take out your general knowledge books. Page number 29. Chapter number 26. Important Days. Solve the exercises on your own. Girls, we have completed the second chapter of general knowledge. Now let us browse the chapter with the help of some questions. Number 1. Which day is celebrated as Children's Day? Number 2. When do we celebrate Father's Day? Number 3. Which day is celebrated as International Women Day? Number 4. 
what is the significance of May 1? Number 5. When do we celebrate International Day of Nonviolence? Number 6. What is the significance of September 27th? Girls, revise the two chapters at home. We will meet again next week.